Hi everybody and welcome to Poppy's Cucina. Today's a special birthday edition. Yeah. It's other Poppy's birthday. Happy other Poppy's birthday. Yay. Lulu doesn't like other Poppy's birthday present that I happen to be wearing. She's not pleased with it. But today we're gonna do something really fun. We're gonna do a funfetti cheesecake with a funfetti cake pop baked in it. I know it's a mouthful, but it really is delicious and super easy to make. Are you excited? You excited for some cheesecake? You don't look that excited, Lulu. All right, so you wanna see how we make it? Just keep watching. Thanks. Yay. So we're gonna start on the crust. I'm gonna do um, a shortbread crust as opposed to a traditional uh, graham cracker. I just like the flavor of these. They're very buttery, and I think this will really complement the uh, fun funny cheesecake more than a graham cracker crust will. So I need about two cups of these crumbs. So I'm about I'm gonna use one and a half of these packages. So if you have food processor, that's awesome. If not, put them in a plastic bag and just whack them with a the mallet <laughs> until they're crummy. Just like that. So into a bowl, the crumbs are gonna go with a quarter cup of packed brown sugar and one stick of melted butter. If you use unsalted, you wanna add like a quarter teaspoon of salt. If you salted, you don't need to add any more salt. All right, so now we're gonna mix this all together. Once you got it all mixed, into your spring form pan it goes. You really wanna pack down these crumbs. And you're gonna bake this in a preheated 350 degree oven for just about 15 minutes. Okay, for now for the ganache, we're gonna do one cup of white chocolate chips with a third of a cup of very, very hot whipping cream. All right, so you're gonna let this sit for like just a couple seconds, and then you're gonna start mixing it until all the white chocolate chips are melted. And there's your ganache. Just like that. Now, if you let this cool and then whip it up, you have a really delicious white chocolate frosting. Just saying. <laughs> all right, so now let's get our funfetti cake ready. All right, so into a bowl, I have about four cups of crumbled Funfetti cake. I made this yesterday. It's just your basic, you know, vanilla cake mix, flour, eggs, vanilla, <laughs> confetti, <laughs> um, sugar, you know. I made this cake yesterday, I let it cool, and I used about two thirds of the cake. So now we're gonna add our ganache. Add about half at a time. Because we want this to be relatively wet, but we don't want it to be you know, where it just falls apart into a pile of mush. All right. And so now we're gonna mix this together, see if it holds together. And when it looks like this, it's ready. So now, you wanna make cake pops, you can. See, nice and mushy, it's easy to form. All right, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a cylinder, probably about four inches, four inch cylinder that we're gonna put right in the middle of the cheesecake. All right, if you have leftover, make those cake pops. <laughs> just like that. And now once the crust is finished pre-baking, this is gonna go right in the middle of it. Now let's get on the cheesecake mixture. All right, so now for the filling, you're gonna start with four eight ounce bricks of cream cheese. You need 32 ounces total with one cup of sour cream. You wanna make sure everything's pretty much at room temperature because you want everything to be really soft, you know, when you're mixing it. See, so it's nice and soft, so it's gonna mix beautifully. All right, so now you're gonna mix this together. Once you got your mixture all nice and creamy, no lumps, you're gonna add uh, half a teaspoon of salt, one cup of sugar, and two teaspoons of vanilla. Now mix that up. And lastly, you're gonna add three eggs. Um, again, room temperature. You're gonna wanna add one egg at a time and crack this into a bowl and give it a whip first before adding to your um, cheesecake mix. Because you don't really wanna over mix. That's what causes the cracks. All right, then lastly, this wouldn't be a funfetti cake without sprinkles. <laughs> so you're gonna carefully fold in a third of a cup of sprinkles. All right, so now my uh, shortbread crust cooled. I placed my cylinder of the cake pop, and now we're gonna pour this in, right on top. All right, so once you got it into your um, spring form pan, you're gonna wanna tamp it onto the counter a few times to get rid of any bubbles that might be lingering in there. And then we're gonna place this into a preheated 325 degree oven for about an hour to an hour and a half. So like it gets nice and puffy and it jiggles ever so slightly and we'll know it's ready. All right, into the oven it goes. Okay, so it's been an hour and it's clearly not enough time. So we added a half hour to the timer and let's see how it comes out. 
Okay, so I just pulled this out of the oven. Took about an hour and 25 minutes. Probably kept it in about seven or eight minutes too long. <laughs> Oops. All right, so now we gotta let this cool for a really long time. Um, I'm probably gonna do it overnight, so we'll have this tomorrow. All right, see you tomorrow. Yeah. All right, so we've allowed this to cool overnight. Oh, it looks so good. Moment of truth, time to cut it up. All right, so we've cut the first piece. Looks pretty good. Moment of truth. A little whipped cream. Why not? Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Oh. Oh, wow. This cake part, so good. Cheesecake, not overly sweet, but oh, so flavorful. Mmm. So creamy, so rich from the sour cream. Oh, oh but I love the cake center. You get the white chocolate and the cake and the vanilla. Oh, this is so good. And this buttery shortbread crust. <laughs> You're expecting it to taste like cinnamon, but it doesn't. You just get that rich butteriness from it. Oh, so tasty. Definitely worth a try. So if you make this, let us know. Enjoy.